A frantic and intricate rescue after a worker fell and got trapped inside a local water tower. It all started when some scaffolding collapsed, sending him tumbling. He was injured in the fall and trapped with no way out. The whole rescue operation lasted about two hours. Lynn Hayes Freeland watched the whole thing unfold. She's live with the latest. Lynn. Ken, you know, there are not very many people who are experienced in water tower rescues because, quite honestly, these accidents just don't happen that often. But one did happen today here in O'Hara Township. Now, the water tower that you can see behind me was being painted for the first time in 25 years, and the job was just about finished until this happened. Workers started the project on the Wise Hill water tank in Fox Chapel in early August. They were painting the inside of the tower, so the water had been drained. The work was expected to be completed on Friday. But just after noon on Monday, a scaffold inside the tower snapped, sending an employee of A1 Industrial Painting, an Ohio-based operation, spiraling to the bottom of the tank. From what we understand, the scaffolding inside the tank has collapsed. The uh, injured worker fell somewhere between 25 and 50 feet. The worker, who has not been identified, had injuries to the back, arm, and head. Paramedics were able to treat him inside the tower to some extent, but the real challenge was how to get him out. Yeah, he was conscious and alert, and uh, we got medics up there. They were giving him, uh, administering IVs to him. This is the first time we've had to deal with an issue like this, and, and a lot of it was training and a lot of it was knowing what assets were available. Initially, responders thought they would have to bring the injured man out of the top of the tower, but the contractor had an air chair that was used as part of the work site. Once the man was secured in the chair, they were able to lower him down a chute. He was, you know, medical needed medical attention quick and, you know, it was the quickest and easiest, fastest route that we could get him down. Now, that unidentified worker remains in the hospital tonight, but, you know, this job had gone on for weeks, so people in this neighborhood say they had gotten to know the workers. And according to the neighbors, the man who was hurt today is expected to be married in just a few weeks, something that the Water Authority did confirm, so everyone in the neighborhood is pulling for him and hopes he can make his wedding. In the meantime, OSHA is investigating the accident. Reporting live in O'Hara Township, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV9.